Hey Plant Fam! <laughs> Welcome back. I don't know why I'm laughing. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is not my jungle. It's my car. And if you're not new here, thank you for coming back. So we're in my car because in case you missed it, I'm in New York. I just got my hair did, refreshed, cut, the color, refreshed. I'm not mad about it. And um, now I'm just coming to some of the local places. I really don't have time to run around to all the different spots while I'm in New York. I'm only here for a day and I'm pretty tired. <laughs> so I did, however, want to stop at the Home Depot on account of the fact that Proven Winners has been stepping up their game and making Home Depot a fun location to check again for house plants. So I'm here. I'm in Hawthorne, New York. This used to be my old local or semi-local, the closest one to me when I lived here in New York, which feels like a whole lifetime ago at this point in time. But if you all have been here, let me know in the comments below when you started watching my channel. Like, are you super new? Like, what state was I living in? Did you find me when I was in Connecticut or have you been here since the New York days? I would love to know in the comments below. But anyway, we're at the Home Depot and we're going to go and see what they have. It's very very hit or miss here. Most of it's probably going to look really bad, but they usually have a little proven winners display that at least looks halfway decent. So let's go inside and see what they have. Okay, fam. So we are at the Home Depot in Hawthorne, New York, and they've got a ton of the usual suspects in here, but I see the proven winners rack back here. So I'm just going to head straight for it. And of course, the first thing that catches my eye is this beautiful trailing Hoya species of Finis Bertonie variegated. I can't believe that these are even in the store. I mean, it's really not that surprising because they are very easy to grow. They're fast growers. They're easy to propagate but it wasn't very long ago that they were pretty rare and expensive so these are only i think like six or 5.98 something along those lines and they have tons of them look at how many they have they have trays on trays on trays they have some of the rosita and the variegated wayetii and then these are new for me as well these are hoya carnosa freckles super duper cute I uh, actually have this one already or else I probably would have snagged one. They just aren't very splashy, unfortunately, but you cannot go wrong with a Carnosa. I am definitely not mad at this. They almost are giving a little bit more like fungi vibes and there's a full tray. So realistically with these plants, I always tell people if you like it, then you should definitely buy a few of them and pot them all up together. I did that with Rosita and now I have a really nice little hanging basket. So super cute. Not mad about that whatsoever. Of course, they have some Fitchii as well. Some Peperomia hiding in there. Some Fetonia or Hypoestes maybe I think was that pink one. And then... Just the usual common stuff, some coffee plants, uh, pothos hanging basket here for $19.98, some Tridiscantia, there is some Philodendron Brazil, I think this is the Pearls and Jade pothos, it's a little bit more speckly than the Enjoy, and then they have some Golden Pothos, of course, you're never gonna not find Golden Pothos in the big box store, so... Here is a tray that I pulled out, and I don't, I don't know, that's not the name of it, feeling flirty. <laughs> Hoya Sea Stone is what they're calling it, but I am going to let you guys know that that's not what it is. It's Bertonia, species of Finis Bertonia, not true Bertonia, and I just love it. This is one of my favorites. It's an easy bloomer as well. I haven't had the variegated one bloom for me yet, but the regular green one blooms for me all the time, so... I'm just going through and trying to pick a few of these out for myself and here are the four that I chose. I actually ended up giving one of these to my mom as soon as I got back to her apartment. She was like, oh my goodness, these are so cute. So I was like, take one. 
and I've already sold one because this was a little while ago and I still have two left that I'm going to keep for myself. So there's some dogtail cactus hanging over here, some orchids, some cute little ficus elastica in here looking cute. This is the Teneki. I just really like that one creamy leaf in there. There's some little baby fiddle leaf figs, some Dracaena, lots and lots of bromeliads. And then over here we have a lot of the same stuff. There's some Syngonium hiding in there. More Pothos, of course. There's never going to be a shortage of that anywhere. And then they did have some cute little Aglionema, some Calathea in there, tons and tons of orchids. And then hanging over here, we have a couple of more philodendron and pothos hanging baskets. There's a really nice full marble queen here and a cute little peperomia next to it. And then behind me, they have some older proven winners that are just kind of shoved into the corner over here looking <sighs> kind of sad, but sort of alive. They have the alocasia cool culata culata. <sighs> I give up trying to figure out how to say it. A couple of different ficus varieties, some really nice calathea orbifolia. Oh, was that a little jumping spider? Oh my gosh, look at how cute it was. I totally missed it. Could have taken it home with me and kept it as a pet. Anyway, there are some philodendron in here, another really nice teneki, ficus benjamina, some more prayer plant different varieties, the absolutely terrible, horrifying philodendron brandy, <laughs> some aloe, and then there's the floor plants here. So some really beautiful Chinese fan palms, I think those are, some monstera. And then there was this cute little philodendron that I don't know the name of some fiddle leaf figs, ponytail palms. They did have a little bit off to the side. It is croton season, but that is it for Home Depot. Okay, fam, so that was the Home Depot here in Hawthorne, New York. They had them. They had the variegated species of Finis Bertoniae, and they're just so cute. So I had to snag a couple of them. I do have a big mother plant at home, so I don't know. I might like keep one or two and pot up with her because these have really nice. I picked the ones obviously with like the nicest variegation. And then I have a few extras because I know you guys have been having a hard time finding them. So I will be um giving those away for like really really cheap over on palm street i'm not looking to make a profit off of these i just don't want to lose money <laughs> they had just so many wow that's a really loud truck sir they had so many like so many that a lot of them are unfortunately probably gonna sit there and rot and die so I don't feel bad about taking a few home with me to share with you guys so make sure you're following me over on Palm Street if there's ever anything that I feel like I want to rescue I do obviously I don't want to be selfish I'm not trying to take these plants away from local people there are plenty so that truck is so obnoxious, sir. People in New York. Look, I'm from here, but every time I come back here, I realize like how rude and impatient everybody here is. And it's so different <laughs> than what I'm starting to get used to in New Hampshire where everybody is super polite and like just things are a little bit slower and it's better for my anxiety. But anyway, I did snag a couple. Again, like I said, I, I might keep like just two for myself and then share the other two with some of you guys who maybe just don't have access to Home Depot, don't have access to these plants and you've been wanting to get your hands on them. So other than that, they really just didn't have anything. They had the the freckles or sparkles, whatever they were calling it, but it really was just a regular green carnosa because it was not very splashy at all. So let me know in the comments below what you guys have been finding at your local big box stores. I've also seen the proven winners pop up in grocery stores and stuff like that. So definitely check anywhere where you have 
houseplants, a floral section, because Proven Winners are a really common brand that big chain stores buy from. So you never know, I found them in my grocery store, like my local grocery store in the middle of nowhere, New Hampshire. <laughs> I found the Anthurium from Proven Winners again there. So in case you didn't watch the short form content that I made about it. But anyway, my arm is starting to hurt holding up my phone. I love you guys so, so very much. I hope that you are having a beautiful day wherever you are out there in the world. Don't forget to spread kindness. Don't forget to go check Home Depot. <laughs> if you watched this whole video, it was very short. I'm sure I was not in there filming for very long. Um, leave me some emo emojis, red emojis, because I just did my hair, recolored my hair red. And I love you. And I hope I see you guys in the next one. Okay, okay, bye.